Good evening. Welcome to the September 8th, 2022 meeting of the Municipality of Anchorage Zoning Board of Examiners and Appeals. Will the Secretary please call the roll? Ellen McKay. Here. Jackie Savina. Here. Skyler Quinn. Here. Andrew Romerdahl. Here. Brian Flynn. Here. Scott Myers. Here. Madam Chair, you have a quorum. Thank you. Uh, there are no minutes for this evening. Uh, next order is special order of business executive sessions. Are there any disclosures? Okay, seeing none, we'll continue on to the consent agenda. Under the consent agenda, we have one resolution for approval. Um, may I have a positive motion, please? Motion to approve the consent, consent agenda. Thank you. Second. And it's been moved and seconded. Is there any objection to the motion? Seeing none, um, the consent agenda passes and um, by unanimous approval. I don't see the... Okay, uh, no appearance requests, no unfinished business, uh, nothing under the regular agenda, which brings us to public hearings. We have one case this evening, and it is a, um, it's a variance case. So the case is case number 2022-0091. Petitioner is Nathan Lang in attendance. Um, and will the staff please describe the notice given in this case? Thank you, Chair. On August 15, 2022, a total of 111 public hearing notices were mailed in accordance with the procedures of AMC 2103-020H. Is there any objection to the sufficiency of notice in this case? Seeing none, we'll move on. Um, so, one thing I forgot. The procedure by which the public may speak to the board at this meeting is, after the staff presentation is completed on the public hearing item, the chair will ask for the applicant to state their case. The applicant, including all of his or her representatives, has 10 minutes for presentation and may reserve time for rebuttal at the end of the public hearing. Throughout the proceedings, the burden of proof rests upon the applicant who must convince the board by a preponderance of evidence that a variance should be granted. A concurring vote of a majority of the fully constituted membership of the board, minus those excused by conflicts of interest, shall be re required to grant a variance. For a variance to be granted, all eight standards must be su substantially met. On the conclusion of the applicant's presentation, Members of the board and the staff may then direct questions to the applicant through the chair. The chair will then open the public hearing to public testimony on the issue. Persons who wish to testify will follow the time limits established in the rules of procedure. Representatives of groups, community councils, PTAs, etc., have five minutes and individuals have three. When your testimony is complete, you may be asked questions by the board. You may only testify once on any issue unless questioned by the board. Time is kept by the secretary. Display in the front will be green to within one minute of the time allowed. Then turn yellow. At this time, you should begin to sum up your testimony. And at the end of the allowed time, the light will turn red and a tone will sound. An individual may have appeal rights relating to any action the um, Zoning Board of Examiners and Appeals takes. Parties have 30 days from the date of mailing or other distribution of the decision to file an appeal to superior court. Will the staff please present the case? 
Thank you, Chair. And I do want to provide a clarification on page one of the staff report. Um, under subsection applicant, Kaylee Thompson should read petitioner's representative. This is a request from variance is a request for a variance from AMC 2110060 table of dimensional standards for Chugach Eagle River residential districts to allow detached three car garage to encroach 25 feet into the required 50 foot rear setback. The applicant would like to remove two existing sheds at the rear of the property along the northern property boundary to build a 1500 square foot detached garage, a permitted use in the CER6 district. The site has an average slope greater than 10% and the existing 1,760 foot square foot single family home is located in the area with the least amount of topography. Due to the 285 foot long driveway, a turnaround is required by the Anchorage Fire Department which will utilize the remaining level areas of the site. As of this writing, no public comments have been received. The Eagle River Community Council has not provided comments and no reviewing agencies provided objections. In order to approve this variance, the following standards must be met. Standard A is met. The subject parcel is 48,108 square feet, and due to the required 25-foot stream maintenance easement and yard setbacks, the total buildable area of the lot is approximately 20,000 square feet. There are well and septic systems to the west and southwest of the house, and the slope greater than 10% south, south of the house results in minimal buildable area for the detached garage and required fire turnaround. A lot of this size throughout the municipality typically has a greater buildable area and the steep slope poses exceptional and extraordinary physical circumstances of this property. Standard B is met. Strict application of the code creates an undue hardship upon the property owner, prohibiting the addition of a detached garage, a feature commonly enjoyed by property owners in the same district and surrounding neighborhood. Standard C is met. The 1,760 square foot single family residence was built in 1976 on the area of the least topography. The addition of a 1,500 square foot three car garage is a right commonly enjoyed by property owners in the surrounding neighborhood. Standard D is met. Given the character, history, and zoning of the neighborhood, it does not appear that granting of this variance will adversely affect the use of adjacent properties. This encroachment does not extend to any abutting properties or municipal rights of ways. Standard E is met. The requested variance will not change the character of the CER6 low density residential, neighbor, residential district in which the petition site is located. Granting of this variance for the proposed detached garage to encroach 50 feet into the required 50 foot rear setback will not permit a use other than what is permitted under Anchorage Municipal Code. Standard F is met. The variance request for the proposed detached garage will not result in any negative impacts to the health or safety of the people of the municipality. Standard G is not applicable. Standard H is met. The variance request for the proposed detached garage to encroach 50, I'm sorry, to encroach 25 feet into the required 50 foot rear setback is a minimum variance necessary to make reasonable use of the land for its intended use. AMC 2103-240G requires all eight variance standards to be substantially met in order for a variance to be granted. The department finds that standards A through H are met for the proposed detached garage. Therefore, the department recommends approval of this variance subject to conditions one through three on page five of the staff report. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions of staff by the board? Are there any questions of staff by the applicant? I indicate no. Will the applicant or the applicant's representative please come forward, state, and spell your name for the record. Uh, my name is Kaylee Thompson. It is K-A-Y-L-I-T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N. Um, I think Carly did a great job of kind of explaining the situation, so I'm not going to just repeat everything she said, but we, um, we agree with the recommendations and the three conditions, um, and we appreciate your guys' time and thank the planning department um, for all their hard work on this. And just wanted to reiterate the fact that they also have a lot of support um, within the neighborhood as well. So I think that'll be it and I appreciate all of your guys' time. Thank you. Okay, you have nine and a half minutes for rebuttal. Are there any questions of the applicant by the board members?
apparently not. Are there any questions of the applicant by the staff? No, Madam Chair. Thank you. Is there anyone in the public wishing to testify in this case? Case 2022-0091. Anyone at all? Okay, seeing none. Does the staff have any rebuttal? No, ma'am. Does the applicant have any rebuttal? Got nine and a half minutes. <laughs> on and on. Okay. Then the public hearing is closed and the matter rests with the board. May I have a positive motion, please? Ms. Savina? Um, I move to approve uh, in case 2022-0091, request for dimensional variance of AMC 2110.062, table 2110.6, table of dimensional standards, Chugiak Eagle River Residential Districts to allow a garage to encroach into the 50-foot rear setback. Subject to? Subject to one through three. Um, on page five. Thank you. And Mr. Romer Dahl seconds. Would you speak to your motion, please? Yeah, I plan to support my motion. Um, I agree with all of staff's, um, I agree with the staff's recommendation um, to include, um, you know, those three conditions. Thank you. Mr. Romer Dahl? Through the chair, I also intend to support the motion and agree with staff's recommendation to approve subject to the three uh, recommended comments. Thank you. Is there any further discussion? Apparently not. Are you ready for the question? Raise up. The question is on the adoption of a motion to grant a variance to um, grant a request for a dimensional, dimensional variance from AMC 2110-060, Table 2110-6, Table of Dimensional Standards, Chukiak River Residential Districts, to allow a garage to encroach into the 50-foot rear, uh, rear yard setback, subject to conditions one through three on state page five of the staff report. A yes vote will grant the variance, a no vote will deny the variance. Please vote. There are six votes in the affirmative and zero votes in the negative. Therefore, the variance is granted. All right. Our only case for this evening. Uh, no reports from me. Report from the secretary. Nothing. No committees. Board member comments. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Mr. Myers, seconded by Mr. Flynn, we are adjourned.